Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Molecular Makeup. It's your favorite chemist Ashley here. And today I have a very serious topic to discuss with you and something that's very heavy on my heart. The FDA found asbestos in some makeup products from Claire's. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral that has been directly linked to mesothelioma, which is a rare type of lung cancer. There is currently no cure for mesothelioma and most patients who have this type of cancer only live for one year. So this is a very serious topic. And you're probably asking, how does asbestos end up in makeup products? Well, asbestos can be mined along with talc because talc and asbestos are in close proximity to each other in many mining sites. And talc is used in all types of powder products in cosmetics, including face powders, setting powders, bronzers, blushes, eyeshadows, etc. So talc is in many of our makeup products. We shouldn't have to worry about asbestos being in our talc containing makeup products because there are well established methods to purify asbestos from talc and the FDA very clearly offers a resource for the chemical suppliers of talc and also the cosmetic companies to have their products tested, to have their talc tested, to ensure that there is no asbestos present in the talc. And I'm going to link that article below. So if we click off this video, I've seen many comments where people are saying, oh, well, I would never use Claire's makeup products. Uh, it's a cheap makeup product. I buy all my products from you know, high-end places. Here's the thing that's really scary and concerning after I've run into this more is that we don't know for sure that our makeup containing talc does not contain asbestos and let me explain why. There are no laws that require these um, talc suppliers or the makeup companies to have their products tested for asbestos by the FDA. As I started digging deeper into this, I found an article from the FDA from a few years ago. The FDA reached out to the nine main chemical suppliers of talc and they asked permission to test their talc for asbestos. Out of those nine talc suppliers, only four agreed to have their talc tested. That's less than 50%. The results indicated that all four of the suppliers that approved the FDA to test their talc were indeed free of asbestos. However, it's very concerning. Why would these other chemical suppliers not allow the FDA to test their talc for asbestos? It's very concerning and it's a real problem that there are no laws and regulations about this. Um, I'm going to link that article below. So the FDA also chose some uh, makeup products. Um, that are pretty popular here on YouTube. They tested those talc containing products for asbestos and there are products like from Maybelline, Laura Mercier, NARS, just to name a few. There are many popular brands of talc containing powders that they tested and all of those showed no asbestos. But we as consumers have a right to know that our makeup that contains talc is free of asbestos. But again, the problem is there are no laws that regulate this. There's no law that, the, uh, that these companies, that the suppliers of talc have to have the talc tested. We as consumers need to take a stance about this and start speaking out about this and say that we're not okay with not knowing that our talc containing makeup products are free of asbestos. We have a right to know that. And again, talc itself is not a health hazard. Asbestos, the mineral that can be mined along with talc, is a health hazard. It's been stated by the FDA. It's been stated by the American Cancer Society. It's been stated by the National Institute of Cancer that asbestos is a cancer-causing substance. So this is very serious. And I think that we should take a stance about this and say that we're not okay with not knowing that our makeup products are free of asbestos, especially when the FDA very clearly offers a resource to test the talc. There's honestly no excuse for this. You're, we're talking about people's health here. We as consumers need to start demanding to know that the talc that is in our makeup products is free of asbestos. From every chemical company, we need to know who is their chemical supplier of talc and who and, and is it one of the chemical suppliers that approved the FDA to test their talc for asbestos? And if not, then we should demand to know that we want to see the results of these tests. Or is it free of 
asbestos because again this has direct been directly linked to mesothelioma i'll link a scientific study below that shows the direct link i'm really concerned i'm very upset personally about this because makeup is something that i'm very passionate about that brings me so much joy and i'm sure it means brings many of you joy it it's a form of art. It's a way to express ourselves. It helps me deal with anxiety. It really calms me. And there's no excuse. We should not have to be worried about our makeup products containing a substance that has been directly linked to mesothelioma. There's no, like, there's really no excuse for it, especially since the FDA has released this article that clearly states that they offer a resource for the chemical suppliers and the companies to test their talc for asbestos. And I just ask you guys to please share this information. If you don't want to share this video, I understand, but please share this information, share the articles, spread this knowledge. I truly believe that if we start speaking out against this and taking a stance against this, then we can catalyze changes for this. To me, it definitely sounded like the FDA was very concerned and like they wanted to see change in the regulations and laws. Read the article and see if that is how you take it as well, but I truly feel that if we start taking a stance about this, that we can really accelerate that process to enforcing regulations hopefully creating laws of regulations for these products, especially something that's been linked to cancer. I just want our makeup to be safe. There's established methods of purifying talc and there are readily available resources as stated by the FDA for these products to be tested for asbestos. I hope that you'll join me in spreading this knowledge and trying to accelerate a change to happen in the cosmetics industry there needs to be more transparency there needs to we need to know that our makeup is safe if you want to learn more about the ingredients that are in your cosmetics please subscribe to my channel i make some videos where i talk about the ingredients and products and then i do some videos that are more fun and artsy just playing with makeup so i hope that you'll consider subscribing thank you so much for watching